Right, okay, so this is a quick video about me, just so you know that I'm not some sort of chancer. <laughs> Um, and that I, I do understand what I'm talking about. So um, I'm almost 50 now, but my background goes all the way back to the sort of the mid 90s when I was working for IBM in their new media lab in the UK. I was a producer, I was producing websites and CD-ROMs and this kind of thing. And um, I flounced out of there basically. I, I got to a point where I'd had enough. I, I was under a lot of pressure and um, you know, I had that, that confidence of youth where you always think you can do better and you know better. And I flounced out of there without a job, but because I've been doing strategy and strategic thinking and some quite high level stuff, really, I very quickly sort of lucked, if you like, I lucked into the dot com ramp. So lots of money um, and lots of really good strategic work. And, and over the next, I suppose, 20 years, um, built a business, a sort of a boutique agency, if you like, not not big, but with clients in, in you know, around the world. And uh, now, if you remember, one of our core principles of storytelling is that we simply we use them to simplify. So I'm glossing over a whole load of stuff in that 20 years, of course. And um, one thing in particular, if you look at my kind of core stories, is about how in 2002 we were almost bankrupt, really. We almost lost the business. And um, and I did have kind of a revelation about stories and uh, storytelling and how we could sort of use that sort of stuff strategically and I, and I you know I won't it's not a kind of a flash of inspiration exactly but I did understand for the first time the power of stories then and um, you know we've been used we use them ever since really I've been using them ever since or th and thinking about them I think that's the other thing is thinking about the strategy behind it and how to improve them um, anyway so that takes us all the way up to about three years ago when um, I had some some family issues on on the one hand, which meant it meant made sense for me to, to work from home more, and also I, I guess I felt like I'd done I'd solved. I was seeing the same problems time and time again in the business that I had. So, for various reasons, anyway, I stepped back, and um, uh, a guy took over managing it for me, and eventually he bought it in 2018. He bought the business out, and what I did in the meantime, because I I was working from home and I wanted something that would be flexible, is I started writing novels. <laughs> So you've got a businessman who's writing novels and um, I took quite a business-like approach to it actually. I, I didn't spend a year writing something and then find out it was rubbish. I decided I would write a novella, a 24 or so thousand word novella and I'd put it out there for free and I'd start um, and I'd see, I'd test the market in other words. And you can find that now on Amazon uh, if you search for Execution by Nick Warren. You'll find it, and certainly if you're looking in the UK or the US, you'll see it's got hundreds of great reviews, four or five star reviews. And I'm really proud of that. And in fact, what I did next was, was I wrote a full novel and then a, and then a sequel. And I'm, I'm actually working on the third one now. But, um, but you know, at the, same, at the same moment, I'm helping companies uh, tell better stories. And I have a consultancy business, Stories that mean business. If you go to storiesthatmeanbusiness.com, you'll you'll see the website, and I and I help companies tell that you know leader legends or origin stories or just tweak their communication using all the tools and techniques that you'll you'll see in this channel. And um, I guess if I'm being totally honest, Story Hacker is a way of of, of promoting myself and building my own personal brand around this kind of service around storytelling. Um, you know, there will be, it's, it's the, like the teaching arm, I suppose, of my consultancy. And there will be some um, paid for courses and things like that eventually, I hope. That's my plan. But but my, my the sort of thrust of my vision is that if you go through these videos and you want to work through these videos, you will become a much better storyteller. And I think um, particularly if you're building a business uh, or you're building your personal brand, being able to tell powerful stories is such an important skill. And I'm just, um, you know, I'm really chuffed that uh, that I can share what I've learned uh, about it. And I, you know, I'm not putting myself up as a guru particularly. I have run a business 20 years. I do understand how that works. And I have written thrillers, which are, um, you know, each one really contains fractal stories. You know, you've got the, the main thing and then you've got you know, left, smaller and smaller sort of versions of that. And in one sense, as we'll talk about sometime in, in the tools and techniques, you know, every conversation is a story within a story within a story. And uh, 
Anyway, I'm incredibly passionate about this subject, as you may be able to tell. I'm really interested and I hope that um, whether you dip into this channel or you go through the whole lot, I hope that you get a lot of value out of it because um, it can really make a difference in your life. And, I, you know, my life has definitely proved that. And, uh, you know, I know if you tell better stories, you get a better life. Thanks very much for watching.